at Tulsa International Airport. F-16 pilots with the 138th Fighter Wing are hitting the skies for a day of maneuvers and training. Everything that we do is geared towards setting ourselves up to, uh, to go to a wartime scenario, uh, and we take it very seriously. Captain Richie Schuler is an instructor on the F-16. He spends most of his days in classified briefings. This is where we part ways. Or in the cockpit, flying the Air National Guard's workhorse. The Air National Guard unit on the northeast side of the airport is always in a state of readiness. It's, uh, it's kind of a mindset for us. We are a, uh, you know, we never lose type mentality. The 138th is always getting the green light to deploy overseas. The good thing about Tulsa, if you look back in the history, all the way back to World War II, we're one of the rare units that have been able to maintain uh, the F prefix in front of our aircraft for the fighter. The fighter wing has seen regular deployments to the Middle East since the first Gulf War. We have set a precedence for ourselves as uh, Tulsa Air National Guard as the unit that, that commanders want in theater uh, or across the globe, and I think that's why we're able to maintain uh, the fighter uh, unit in the middle of the United States. That's why Schuler, the crew chiefs, and his fellow pilots are always wheels up when they can. After a short weather delay and hours spent on briefing, these pilots are ready to go out and fly one of their many weekly missions. Schuler's love for flying the F-16 goes back to his father, Richie Sr., who was an Army helicopter pilot in the Oklahoma National Guard. I did always know that I wanted to be a fighter pilot and uh, just kind of stuck with that, but uh, he had a lot to do with uh, my mentality as far as getting in the military and what I wanted to do, and he was all, him and my mom both were always there to, to help me continue to achieve my goals, as well as my wife and my, and my kids. Air Guard members just returned from training in Tucson, Arizona, where pilots trained with live weapons to train for the 138th's next mission. In Tulsa, Tony Russell, two works for you.